Hey, what's going on guys? ZTA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Latte Panda, the super small single board Windows 10 computer. Runs an Atom Z8300 CPU. The particular model that I have is the 2GB model. It also has 32GB onboard storage with Windows 10 32-bit pre-installed. Today, I want to test out the Win UAE emulator and some shaders. So I've already went through and I've set up Amiga Workbench and some WHD load games. I'm just going to load them directly from a drive that I have set up. We could go and do it from Dupus or I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. But we could go into here and add them if we'd like. But for now, I'm just going to load them directly from here. We'll start out with... Well, I'll just test one game because I really wanted to show you guys the uh, shaders here. And if you want me to make another video... Let me know what games you want to see running on this emulator, and I will make a video for you. For this video, we're going to test Alien Breed with some shaders. Another really cool thing is um, I have, if I press F12 here and go to my input, I am using the brand new Xbox One Bluetooth controller with this. Uh, the Latte Panda has Bluetooth built in, and it links right up with Windows 10. It works amazingly. All right, to play this game, I'm actually using the Bluetooth Xbox One controller here. I just set it up, and it, it mapped itself, and it works amazingly. So, if you can hear this, it's pretty cool that it works, and... uh. Yeah, I'm super stoked. So let's try out some shaders here. If I hit F12, I can go into my filter category. And there are tons of filters here. So what I'm going to do is go down the list and I'm going to skip every 5, 6, 7, who knows. We'll go scale 2x. Now I hate the way that this makes it look. Um, it really makes it look cell shaded. It outlines everything. We'll try D3D. I'm not even going to name them, guys, here. We'll just go with the plus bump. Yet again, it does add a little bit of blur to the edges. Now, I've never really been a big fan of shaders, you know, scanline shaders and stuff like that. But a lot of people love to use them. And uh, I have no problem with that at all. If I'm playing, you know, the original console on an old television. Oh, geez. Definitely, we're going to have scan lines. And that's totally fine with me. I've just never really liked to add them to my emulation. It's personal preference, so. Stay right here. F12. We'll go down the list just a little bit, but everything works really well. 5X BR 3.5. Okay. Looks a little odd to me. If I was to use shaders, I'd like more pixelated stuff. We'll go CRT D3D. Now this is probably going to be good just by the name. Ah... If you're into this kind of um, shader, this is really cool. GS2X Smart Filter 3. Oh man, really blurs it out. So I've tested about seven games, and the Latte Panda handles this Amiga emulator perfectly. I mean, flawlessly, I've tried a bunch of games, and they all worked very well. If you have any requests to see any games running within Win UAE, let me know in the comments below, and I will test it out for you. If you have any specific shaders that you would like to see running, also, just leave a comment, and I will try my hardest to make a video as soon as possible. 
HQ2X. Let's see how that looks. I mean, not bad. It does give me that pixel look. And I'm really looking at the character here. But yeah, I, I could definitely play with this one. Found the list here. There's just really too many shaders. Oh, oh my god. Ah, I gotta get away. Gotta get away. Too many shaders to go over in this video here. We also, let me find another scan line if we have it. And I'm sure there is. CRT, I thought I saw some more scan lines. There we go. 2X Sal plus scan lines. Oh, wow. That's a super old TV looking. That's actually pretty cool. At 12. And I'm just going to go back to none. We'll go to display. There's also a scan line built in. Where is it? Right here. Press OK. And to me, this looks more traditional. The traditional scan line with no filter and the scan lines on. We also have a few more settings here. We can go to low res. Let's see how this looks. Not much of a difference, I don't think. And we'll go to super high res. Either way, they run amazing. I could definitely get used to playing like this. Now, I love this emulator, especially if you set it up with Workbench and some WHD load games. That way, you really don't have to go back and switch discs. Now, most of these games will exit back to the Workbench by pressing Print Screen or F10. For some reason, I can't get Alien Breed to do that. If you guys know how to set up an exit key within um, the Workbench, let me know in the comments below because I'd really love to set it up. I did a little bit of Googling, but I couldn't really find anything. It was the print screen and F10 key, everybody was saying. On like Adam's Family and a pin, couple pinball games that I tested, F10 worked perfectly. But for this game, I cannot exit for some odd reason. I've tried all of these keys. Nope. And I pause the game. So that's it for now, guys. I really appreciate you watching. This month has been really hectic because pretty much everybody in my family has a birthday in August. Mine was actually August 24th, which was yesterday as of making this video. And uh, that's how I ended up with this X new Xbox One Bluetooth controller. My wife's best friend actually brought me a brand new Xbox One S 500 gigabyte for my birthday. Kind of blown away. It was pretty amazing that she did that for me. If you guys have any requests to see anything running on the Latte Panda, let me know in the comments below. Now, sometimes I get behind. I understand. I get a lot of requests on all kinds of different videos. And I say, yeah, I'll make it. I'll make it. I'll make it. Most of them do get made, but some of them do fall behind and I kind of forget about them. I usually write them down and then I just get so overwhelmed and overloaded with requests that I really don't have time to do them. So if you do have a request, let me know. And if I don't make it within 72 hours, send me another message. Let me know, hey, what's the status on this video? Are you still making it? Because sometimes I really do forget. I get so many comments that it gets really crazy, guys. So thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you could, hit that like button and that subscribe button because I have a lot more coming.